Hey, what's up folks from David Space. Today, we're talking about how I hate special needs and mentally challenged people. Dave, say what? I know, I know, let me explain. Before we get started, quick shout out to somebody who supported me, FNA. His YouTube channel is the McRae Brothers. He does crazy reviews, nostalgic, mostly mainstream stuff. So please, check him out, add him as a friend, subscribe. His links are in the description box. Fudge it, I'm just gonna tell y'all what happened. You tell me what you think. If I'm an anus, I'm going to look like an hour no matter what. I'm going to look like an anus hole. So the other day, I have this meeting. Still trying to get my movies made. But before I go to the meeting, I have to run to the 99 cent store in Hollywood. Now, my lovely wife, Raina, has given me a list of things that she needs me to pick up from the 99 cent store. So I'm like, well, let me do that first since I'm on the way and I can just make it in time to the meeting. Wrong. Wrong. So I go to the 99 cent store, park my car, run in, and I'm just throwing shit in my basket left and right. Boom, 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 as fast as I can. I got like 20 items, okay? And then I realized, damn, maybe this wasn't a good idea because now I'm running out of time. So now I said, fudge it, I need to just go check out and get the fudge up out of here. So I'm headed to the register and I'm thinking, please, Lord, don't let there be a long line because I can't be late for this meeting. I get to the registers and I see there's like 15 people in the line and I'm like, damn. And I look over to the right of me and there's another line. And there's only three people and they don't have a lot of stuff so I'm like cool and I'm looking at the time on my phone I said you know what let me just call these people and tell them that I, I might be just a few minutes late as I go to the shorter line you know I have my phone I'm calling the people I'm not really paying attention to the cashier and I'm just pulling stuff out of my basket putting it on the you know, little belt that goes you know the thing the belt the motherfucking belt you know what I'm talking about compared belt I will say this the one thing that did run through my mind is like why is everybody in that long line and not too many people in the short line. It, just, it did seem a little odd to me, but I didn't give a fudge. I'm like, lucky me. As I hang up you know, with the people on the phone, you know, I kind of realized, hey, I was on the phone for a minute and I'm still not at the cashier yet. Like, Damn, there wasn't a lot before me. But that's when I look up and that's when I see the cashier is a you know, special needs person, you know, slightly mentally challenged. Which is fine. I'm glad the 99 cent store is giving you know, people like that you know, opportunities to work. I think that's cool. Now here's where the problem came in. Like I said, remember folks, I'm in a hurry. He then gets to my items and asks me how I'm doing. And cool, you know, hey, I'm, I'm doing fine. Thank you very much, how are you? And then he proceeds, oh, I'm, I'm doing good. Oh, you know, okay, that's cool. But then he goes on to tell me how his weekend was spending time with his grandma. Oh, Dave, you show a little patience. He's just being nice. Folks, I'm in a motherfucking hurry, okay? If he wasn't a special needs person, I'd still be in a hurry. And when I'm in a hurry and I'm shopping, I don't want to talk about your grandma. I don't want to talk about your mama, your granddaddy, your uncle, your auntie. I don't want to talk about your favorite flavor of Jello, cause, cause yes, that's what he wanted to talk about his favorite flavor of Jello. So in my head, I'm thinking, motherfucker, if you don't check my ship out. That's what one part of my brain is saying. And then the other part of my brain is saying, come on, Dave, man, he's special needs. Don't be an anus hole. But like I said, if he wasn't special needs, I still would have been cussing him out in my mind. Please, don't get me wrong, folks. I have nothing against special needs or mentally challenged people. Some of my closest, dearest friends have special needs kids, you know, and I love them to death. I adore them. And that's part of the reason why, for some strange reason, I feel slightly guilty for feeling the way I did. So that's why I'm telling you guys, because I really need to know what you guys think. I mean, am I an anus hole? I need to do a self-check to see if, if I'm wrong here. So I try to politely say, oh, hey, I'm kind of in a hurry. And he says, okay. And he starts to pick up my items one by one. And as he does, every single motherfucking item he picks up, he starts to talk about. Oh, these are good. The low-fat chips, these are really healthy for you. Does this taste good? Because I've never tried this one before. Oh, I've never tried these. Do you like them? And part of me wants to say, no, mother fudger. I just like to come here and buy shit that I don't like. And then the other half, of course, says, Dave, he's special needs. Don't be an anus hole. So I'm standing there just steaming, thinking I'm about to punch a mother fudger, special needs person in the face. So I hold my tongue and I just wait as he talks about all 20 items that I have in my basket. Folks, there were three people in the line I got in. The other line, there was like 15, and all of them are gone. They in their car halfway home. And I'm still standing there with my new best friend, still in a hurry. Like I said, I have nothing against special needs, mentally disabled, mentally challenged people, okay? 
when my son was born, well, actually before he was born, you know, the doctors told us, hey, there may be a chance that, you know, he may be autistic because, you know, when they get the sonogram things or whatever, his measurements were unusually large. Like his head was a little bigger than normal, his liver and other organs. And, you know, there was concern that he may be born autistic. And that was a reality. And it was kind of scary for us. But when he was born, everything was fine. He just turned out to be a big anus baby. And I get that. It's a very serious thing. So if you have a special needs child or, or you are a special needs person, hey, I understand that. God bless you. All this is is me talking about this specific situation and how I felt. That's all this video is. So by the time he's like on item 15, because he really didn't even go through all 20 yet, I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm at a 99 cent store. Everything cost a dollar. And I was like, fudge it. I put down $30, grabbed my stuff, and just ran out. Because I figured that was better than me cussing this dude out. Because I was in a hurry. So anyway, I go back about a week later. I got to go buy some more stuff. And as I'm shopping, the manager approaches me and says that I am no longer welcome in a 99 cent store. Why? Because apparently I upset the special needs cashier. Yeah. Now as he's talking to me, I got everybody in the store looking at me. Got me feeling like I ain't this whole. So I'm just checking with you guys. In the comments. Does that make me ain't this whole? I mean, I, mean, I, I can't get mad. If, if you say that I am, I get it. I understand. You know. But David, I, I'm only human. Tell me what you would have done in that situation. I'm David Spade. Say what you got to say. <laughs> Listen to me, whatever you do, don't move. He'll bite you in the penis. <laughs>